Gabe picked his moment well. There are scores of reporters in Zimbabwe to cover today's historic elections. He said he hoped his former allies would be voted out of power. The 94-year-old was forced to resign last November, bringing his 37-year rule to an end. We shall never again experience a period where the army is used to thrust one person to, on, <clears throat> into power. Our people will be free. They have not been free since that day. When tanks rolled and across the country, when there was a takeover by the army. In today's election, 75-year-old Emerson Nagagwa, who was a longtime ally of Mugabe, faces Nelson Chamisa. Chamisa is a lawyer and pastor who is vying to become Zimbabwe's youngest head of state. Mugabe rallied behind the 40-year-old, saying other presidential candidates have nothing to offer. I have also said, my Mjuru and my Kupe don't offer very much. So there is Chamisa left. Zimbabwe's first citizen hit back, accusing Chamisa of striking a deal with Mugabe. Now that it is clear to all that Chamisa has forged a deal with Mugabe, we can no longer believe that his intentions are to transform Zimbabwe and rebuild our nation. The choice is clear. You either vote for Mugabe under the guise of Chamisa, or you vote for a new Zimbabwe under my leadership and the ZAN-PF. Real change is coming. We should all be part of it. God bless Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is expected to announce the results on the 4th of August.